Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, as promised, the green is starting to light up the radar this afternoon there, TJ. And we're going to continue to see that right through the afternoon and evening. And there'll be some pinks and blues yeah. from time to time. But we're not looking at anything serious winter-wise. Let's take a look at what's going on. Live city cam picture. Loads of clouds out there. Notice you've got really good visibility as you look on off to the east. In fact, there's the Ken Height Water Towers there in East Providence. And further down the river, you can see pretty well. 45 degrees, the temperature with a wind from the east at around 7 miles an hour. And that's probably about it as far as warming goes today in the low to mid 40s and relative humidity is still fairly dry at 45 percent. We have precipitation trying to work its way in, but most of it's actually getting eaten up before it reaches the ground. But there have been some sprinkles and a few flurries up Woonsocket Way. It was up there uh, earlier in the, in the uh, morning and uh, we'll likely be seeing these showers uh, continue to overspread the area throughout the course of the afternoon. Light rain developing, some rain possibly heavy at times uh, later in the evening and overnight. And because the rain will be a little on the heavy side, we'll likely be seeing some of the colder air move down from the upper levels of the atmosphere. And that will create an atmosphere favorable for a little bit of snow and sleet to develop. And even in Providence, a couple of flakes here and there during the overnight, certainly possible, but any accumulations will be limited to extreme northern Island right on the border with Massachusetts up near the Blackstone Mass and Woonsocket border and uh, Uxbridge and all the way up there. Satellite radar combination showing the showers working towards southern New England right now and we're going to be seeing these showers overspread the area. We have one area of low pressure pulling away off to our south and east. Now let's take a look at the really big picture. Our next weather maker is way down here across the southeastern U.S. creating some rain, some big thunderstorms down there in Florida. That area of low pressure is going to be working its way up the eastern seaboard during the course of the uh, next 18 hours or so. Here's what we're looking at. Rain continues to overspread the area this evening and overnight. Notice that batch of heavy rain coming on through and it's quite possible we could be seeing anywhere between an inch and an inch and a half of rain during the overnight. And at times, yes, some snow and some sleet could be mixing in. Most of the heavy rain will likely be gone by the morning commute tomorrow and then we'll have some periods of uh, rain and uh, light snow during the daytime tomorrow. Probably actually starting off with rain and as colder air works its way in on the backside of the storm system we might begin to see a little bit of snow working uh, in with the rain uh, in the western suburbs in the afternoon tomorrow. So for this afternoon pretty much what you see is what you get with uh, temperatures 44 in Central Falls, 44 in the east side of Providence with some light rain working its way in from the uh, south and west. 44 in Cranston, Riverside, kind of a damp, raw feel to the air there. About 43, same in Warwick, around 44 with these winds from the east. 10, 15 miles an hour, and of course you're seeing some light rain working its way in right now. Down in Escohee, Ashway, and Charlestown, and Wakefield. This will be overspreading the area. It will remain fairly chilly through the afternoon. Up here in northern Rhode Island, we're looking at rain to develop up here, and even some wet snow from time to time will be mixing in. Wouldn't surprise me there's a couple of ice pellets mixed in as well. But eventually it'll be turning over to mostly rain during the uh, evening and overnight. Mainly cloudy with some light rain showers eventually over here in southeastern Massachusetts with temperatures in the low to mid 40s. Rain likely for the evening commute. Look at that sunset time. 7-11. Seven day future cast. Some light rain and uh, some snow. Excuse me. Some heavy rain and some snow developing for tonight. Some lighter rain and snow for tomorrow and ending in the afternoon. Saturday and Sunday looking dry with sunshine and temperatures kind of chilly, but not bad. Upper 40s looking at some rain for uh, next Monday afternoon, probably into uh, early next Wednesday morning. In the Pinpoint Weather Station, you can get the updated future cast there. It's on Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. So nothing like 14 years ago, yeah. no 18 inches of snow, just uh, some rain, okay. mostly. All right, thanks, TJ.